Hey YouTube, Appalachian Survivalist here. Just wanted to hit on a quick point real quick. Uh, backup heat. Having emergency heat for when the grid's down or when your power's out. Um, if you're like me here in Appalachia, Ohio, I've kind of talked about it before, you can't have an indoor wood burner uh, if you have a double wide. Uh, most insurance companies won't cover your double wide and if you do get an indoor wood burner that is covered by your insurance, generally uh, they're going to run you know, you're going to pay a lot for that burner. So what, I, what I've done for a backup system for an emergency uh, is this wall heater. Uh, it's an infrared system. It uh, runs completely off of propane. So it's a self-contained system. I don't have to worry about uh, whether or not i got gas lines coming in or anything like that. Um, and I've also, uh, the nice thing about this is that, that line runs down under the, under the house here into a tank. I've got two of these systems hooked up in my living room and my sitting room. Uh, these are this one single wall heater is rated to heat 2,200 square feet, and my uh, double wide is actually 2,200 square feet. So it, this really does the job. Um, I went ahead and put one in the other room, and I've got a little three burner uh, burner in my uh, master bedroom and bathroom simply to keep the pipes from getting frozen if the power were to be off for an extended period of time. So. Uh, one thing I will suggest is if you do look at getting one of these, make sure you get the infrared, uh, which is the square ones right there. You see the red squares there? Uh, they have two types. There's blue flame and then there's infrared. And the infrared does so much better at heating and uses so much less gas. Um, I originally bought me a blue flame. Uh, a friend of mine who was in um, heating and cooling told me, no, that's not what you want. So I, I got me a red, red brick. Uh, infrared system and it works so much better. Uh, the temperature in here just just comes up so fast. Just me turning this on. I I use this sometimes just to get the chill off in the morning. Uh, if the you know if I forgot to get up and put wood in the furnace or something like that. But I'll tell you this this is great. Uh, we've had to use it before when the blower went out on the furnace and it has no problem keeping this this house easily 70 degrees, no issues. So, um, you know, if, if that's something that's something you want to be thinking about is what's your backup system for heat? Because, you know, if you can do a wood burner inside your house, great, that, that's the perfect thing to do. But if you can't, if you're like, like me and most of Appalachia uh, here in America, you know, you probably got a double wide, something like that. Um, and, you know, you got to worry about whether your insurance is going to cover a fire. So, uh, this is the best bet. Uh, I was able to pick this unit up. You know how I am about being cheap. Uh, I was able to pick this unit up for $75. It was brand new in the box. The box was a little wore out and, and you could tell it had been stored for a long period of time. I was able to find it on a Facebook uh, classifieds uh, listing. So that's something you might look into. You know, your classified sections, Craigslist, uh, ad takers, Anything like that, I mean, you can definitely find great deals that are out there. I priced this at Lowe's, the exact same brand at Lowe's or Home Depot would cost me around two hundred dollars. So it's definitely important that we, that you know, you, you you look around there and see what you can find. Well, if you guys like this video, uh, check out my other videos on my page there, Appalachian Prepper, and uh, you know, Appalachian Survivalist. Sorry, uh, I am an Appalachian Prepper, but. Uh, Appalachian Survivalist and uh, check it out and, and like us and follow us and we'll have more videos to come. Thanks.